Okay, so I just got this, but for the weekend. I don't have that much time with it, but I really want to dive into this as quick as I can. I have it till Monday. It's already Friday night. Uh, it was day one of loot today. So I'm just gonna borrow this for a little bit. And I figured, why not? Let's check this thing out together. Already, that packaging's so dope. Uh, but we don't have time to do like a full unboxing or anything like that. So let's just try and figure this thing out. I'm gonna try and get some of my own samples onto it first. So I know that there's a way that you can get your own samples on here. Check this out, by the way. I'm sure you guys probably already seen this. But this is like the tutorial on it. So you just kind of put it Oh, of course, I've got it upside down. Of course, you put this uh, in here like so. Oh my God, did I just flip it upside down again? I'm, I'm like panicking right now because I feel like I have five seconds with this thing. And you can learn what it is. Again, we don't have time for an unboxing. I know that there's a way that you can get your own samples onto this thing. I just don't know how. So hopefully I can figure this out. I think I need to use the drum utility, that Steve Duda one that he made for the OP1. And somehow it'll work for this. I got a connection. I can see that. Yeah, and it's not even on yet, so that's a good sign. So I'm gonna try and figure this out. If I figure it out, I'll uh, I'll let you know. Okay, okay. OP1. Oh, where is it at? I normally have all my samples on a thumb drive. Cool. So I'll take that one. Drop the files here. Export. Save. I don't think that's correct. I gotta figure this thing out. Hello, this is Coco. Okay, so I figured it out, but definitely not on my own. I had a ton of help from this video here. Let me close this. Microwaves TV. Go check his stuff out if you want to figure anything OPC related because he has some cool stuff. And the way he breaks this down is very, very simple. Thank you, Microwaves TV. Thanks, bro. Cool, so we're here, we got this thing, and oh my God, I forgot to hit record while I started jamming, but listen to this that I just made. Yo, I am so down with this. Mute that kick, bring it back in, take those hats out. This thing is so, so much fun if you already can't hear it in my voice. So I'm gonna take this pattern now. I mean, I, 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 this video, I don't even know really where it's going. I guess I might be a little too excited. But I'm gonna copy this pattern and I'll copy it again. So now I'm gonna go to this pattern and I'm gonna build a uh, just a little tension, if that's even the right word. So I'm gonna go to my kick drum track and clear out my kick drum track. I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to do this. What is it? Track and stop? Yeah, track and stop will clear that out. So if we're here. Cool, so then we'll go to the next pattern. Yeah, which still has this. We'll go to our hi-hat and I'll clear the hi-hat. And then I'll say. This is kind of like my percussion track. Filter, resonance. I don't know what blue does. Oh, reverse. This filter, there are this sample is just really long. This is kind of cool. So I'll just put this on the ups, right? So let's do. Cool, so then if we go back to our patterns now. Then the little tension builder. And then. Man, this thing is so tight. We got the bass line going. I love the way it handles like what you're doing and kind of like overrides the automation in a weird way. 
Also, the way it handles mixing these songs and these tracks together. Like, listen to that. <laughs> oh my god. It's kind of like a bias on where your automation is. So now let's go to another pattern, yes? Sh pattern, shift to copy that here. I'll go to this pattern. We'll go to our chords. Let me mute the kick drum. And then I think my chords are on the effects. So track here, clear that out. Yep. So one thing uh, Cuckoo taught me, not personally, of course, just on this video, is this whole uh, whole track and track and shift. Yeah, and then you can set a different value at which this will play at. So now I'm gonna try and. automation maybe I'll just kind of wiggle this up to the top dude this thing is so sick I probably said that way too many times already I'm gonna copy this pattern here of course go to that pattern go to our bass track lower that Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, yo, what is up? How's this? Oh, my God. Actually, we'll clear that, yeah. And then I'll, uh, I'll quarter time this, because I want a little bit longer on this. So this shift for, right? Yeah. I guess I can do this in the lead, why not? So we'll find a good lead in here. So then it reset the track, shift four. Let's see. Oh, that was ugly. Okay, clearing that. Yo, I said clear, bro. Oh, whoops. Cool. Oh, that's why. Okay, because I, I, I took the things out. Shift here. Four. Da, da, da. I'm going to just focus on two notes. Now I can go. So I think you can quantize the track. I think I just ruined it. Oh, right, this is the filter, my bad. So how do I leave it there? Do I just jiggle this? There's gotta be an easier way to do this. Cuckoo, help me out. Cuckoo, if you're watching this, I'll add your boy one time. Okay, what was it? Hold down track. There it is. And now it sounds terrible. So let's take these out. Cool, I'll do this. Oh, 
Uh, yeah. Yo, what's up with that slide? I don't even know where that came from. Oh. Yo, do you guys know how tight this thing is? Yo, is this a new compact creations? All right, so how do these effects tracks work? This I don't know. Uh, yeah, no idea what's going on here. I'm pretty sure those are the two effects tracks. What's this track do? Oh. Oh, okay. Yes. Yo, this is too sick, too sick. This is turning into a crazy long thing, but OPZ, so tight. Uh, yeah, I just need to finish jamming with this thing. So what are my final thoughts on the OPZ? That was probably the most fun I've had within five minutes of opening up a product. I literally just scrolled around on the um on you on cuckoo's video and he talked about so much stuff thanks and shout out to nam chomsky i'm not sure if you guys follow him either uh he kind of pinned up all the timelines for that video because it's like an hour and a half video didn't have time for that but i did have time to figure out what i actually wanted to see so i figured out how to copy patterns i figured out how to upload my own samples and I figured out how to kind of just make a track that I would normally make on any other sampler type groove box thing. So is the OPZ worth it? Most definitely, because what this thing can do and the fact that I'm just holding it right now and I can press play and play that song that I just made on this thing and then slide this into my back pocket or throw it into my backpack is, is insane. You can't beat this thing as a groove box or whatever it is it's so so good especially coming from the pocket operators you'll probably understand this within five to ten minutes the same way i did this thing is so tight and i need to get one asap anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that video i really enjoyed making it sorry it was such a random kind of like sporadic spree of the moment i know i have a few days with it but it only felt like i had like five minutes with it Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd greatly appreciate the thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and let me know in the comments below how I can make these videos better for you to enjoy. And if you enjoy seeing content like this on a weekly basis, feel free to subscribe. Everything and anything helps out the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. And on top of that, you guys can always follow me on my Instagram where I post a lot of other videos like this in my other studio with other gear. And there may be something in there that you want to see a video on. So hit me up on my IG and let me know about it. Just got a fresh stock in. Of these see you later oscillator hats as well so if you're interested hit the link down below and find out more about it but with all that out of the way you guys know the drill and that's to share the love share the knowledge knowledge is power peace <laughs>